The signal goby also goes by a number of different names. For example, the twin spot goby and the crab eye goby. To me, it makes more sense to call them the signal goby when you consider its Latin name. Signi gobius by Ocelletus. Anyway, what's in a name? They can be found right across the Philippines on small sandy patches amongst the hard coral reefs and rocky areas at depths from just a few metres to 30 metres. They have a very distinctive backwards and forwards movement, which some say imitates crabs. Hence its name, the crab-eyed goby. They live as individuals or pairs and can be seen tending to their burrows, regularly excavating and cleaning debris from the hole. After a pair has mated, the female will lay her eggs inside the burrow and the male will have the honours of looking after the eggs until they hatch. Their diet consists of minute invertebrates, which they find by taking mouthfuls of sand or silt and filtering it through their gills. I'm sure you'll agree the signal goby should be on your bucket list for when you come to the Philippines. To book your next Philippine dive holiday, visit our website philippinediveholidays.com or email info at philippinediveholidays.com.